Hi, Huckleberry here, and today I'm going to teach you subnetting. This is going to help you to pass exams like the uh, Cisco CCNA exam or uh, the Network Plus exam where, they, uh, where they'll ask you specific questions about subnetting. Now really, there's only a few things that you need to know in order to answer any question that you might get um, on an exam. So this, uh, so this is going to be a relatively short video. What I suggest you do after watching this video is to get a subnet calculator online and then practice using uh, fig trying to figure stuff out yourself and then checking it with the subnet calculator. So first thing is what is subnetting? Subnetting is borrowing host bits, so this, the network part of the address never changes. Now, two of the main things that you need to understand or, or be able to answer is how many subnets are there and how many hosts are there, with, if given a specific address, address and a specific subnet mask. So the number of subnets is 2 to the power of n, where n is the number of subnet bits. The number of hosts is 2 to the power of n, where n is the number of host bits minus 2. Now the reason it's minus 2 is that it is, it use of, is it, this is usable hosts. So the 255 host is not usable and the 000 host is not usable. So that's your, your broadcast and your network numbers. That's why it's minus 2. So given a particular IP address and a subnet mask, basically there are only a few questions that they can ask you. And we're going to go over how to do this and you should do this in order. So the first question they can ask you is, what are the valid subnets? So you start by finding the base number, which is 256 minus the subnet mask in decimal. The first subnet is the base number itself. The second number is the base number plus itself. And the third subnet is the second subnet plus the base number, and so on until the subnet mask is reached. The second question that they could ask you is, what is the first host in each subnet? And that is the, the subnet number plus one. And the third question they could ask you is, what is the broadcast address for each subnet? and that is the number immediately preceding the next subnet. And the last question that they could ask you is, what is the last host in each subnet? And that's the broadcast address of that subnet minus one. So, as you can see, there's only six questions that they could possibly ask you. We'll go over those again and you can see the number of subnets they could ask you, the number of hosts they could ask you, plus these four. What are the valid subnets? What's the first host in each subnet? What's the broadcast address in each subnet? And what is the uh, last host in each subnet? So what you're gonna wanna do is take some screen prints of this uh, so you have all this, in mem all this memorized before you go into any exam. Now we're going to give, give an example. Given a class C address, 192.168.42.0, with a subnet mask of 27, let's answer all the questions. So first of all, you want to realize that um, slash 27 is 255.255.255. 224, just in case you're not familiar with uh, slash notation. Uh, I'm not going to explain it right here because this is strictly on subnetting, uh, but you can always go back and look that up on the internet. Um, so the base is 
256 minus 224, which is 32. So for question one, the subnets are 32, 64, 96, 128, 160, and 192 and 224. Because 32 plus uh, is your base number, plus 32 is 64, 64 plus 32 is 96, 96 plus 32 is 228, and so on. Now, the first host is simply the number following, the next number following the uh, host address. So you can see in this subnet of 32, the first host is 33, and in the subnet of 64, the first host is uh, 65, and so on. Now the last um, host, which is question four, we're actually going to see the broadcast address first. So you can see that the broadcast address is actually one number less than the subnet. So 64 minus 1 is 63. 96 minus 1 is 95. 128 minus 1 is 127, and so on. And the last host is going to be um, one less than the broadcast address. So 63 minus 1 is 62. 95 minus 1 is 94. 127 minus 1 is 126. That is the end of this video. If you liked it, please mash that, that like button down. This has been Huckleberry. Thank you very much.